the judiciary in Nigeria has shocked observers and the public uh, and also commentators with two landmark judgments, the first being the Supreme Court announcement last Friday, mm -hmm. which ended the tenure in office of five state governors, Mosla Yanko of Adamawa, Timur Priye Silva of Bayelsa, Lee Alimoki of Cross River, Ibrahim, uh, Ibrahim Idris of Kogi, and Aliyu Wabaku of Swakato State. The former governors have since left office, and in accordance to a directive by the Attorney General of the Federation, the speakers of the affected state houses of assembly have effectively taken over as acting governor. However, the case of Kogi State remains a peculiar one, which initially sparked of controversy, but following the intervention of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the confusion may have been sorted out. But has it really been settled? INEC says the governor's election conducted on December 3rd, 2011 in Kogi State, which produced Idris Wada as winner stays. The implication here is that the swearing-in of, of Wada last Friday is valid until a court says otherwise. However, a group which calls itself Kogi stakeholder, seems to be challenging the position, saying that attempts to install Idris Wada will amount to rewriting the judgment of the Supreme Court as clarified by the directive issued by the Attorney General of the Federation. Based on the Supreme Court judgment, they say the election of December 3rd, 2011 is contrary to the provisions of the 1999 Constitution, which requires that an election to the office of governor of a state be held 90 days before the expiration of the term in office of the last holder. Clearly, the controversy rages, and it is not helped by the fact that both the said acting governor, Abdullahi Bello, and Idris Wada, the said governor, well, did resume office uh, uh, simultaneously, although this has been resolved. We still have our guests here in the studio to talk about this. And my first question will be, what do you make of the Supreme Court's judgment that has terminated the tenures? Let's let's talk about the general one before we come back to Kogi State. Mm. The tenure of the five governors, what do you make of that judgment? 